Hello and welcome to On The Counter. This week we are joined by Sam and Bish as always, but we have a new face to the On The Counter team. <laughs> Bish has lost it. Fan of the show and also friend of the show. Max, how are we? Hello, I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm all right, thank you very much. Do you enjoy this week's football? Um, no. <laughs> Great, so no. it's a good thing we got you on to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Bish and Sam, how are we? Cracking. Very well, thank you. Bish, you enjoy this week's football? I didn't watch any. Okay. What about last weekend? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll off. come up at some point. Uh, I had a good week you of football. Are... Yeah, but Sam, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not fun when you're enjoying the week of football. It's funny when we're, oh, okay. we're talking about, you know. Um, Max, you are a fan of the Carabao Cup finalists. Uh, Manchester City, no. Yeah, have, you got your, uh, have you got your key ring yet? I do, actually. <laughs> Oh, no. It's I not a cup final. It's not a cup final. It is a key ring. Yeah. It's a yeah, Christmas, Christmas present. Um, yeah. Also got a flashlight on it. <laughs> Just some kind of deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Levy's in his pocket. Um, <laughs> so, Max. Yes. Not doubt the FA Cup this week. Yeah. You lost to Chelsea last week. It's not been yeah. great for Tottenham recently, is it? What do you put it down to? Um, shitters, to be honest. <laughs> Just shitters. Like uh, everyone's, you know, very quick to blame Jose, but the players are just—they're just wank. <laughs> just, it's just, they are. They're just shit. Like I can hear you know, that that, voice. Everyone, everyone blames Jose for like, yeah. He had those negative tactics and stuff, and like the Chelsea game was like. It, without doubt, the worst game of football I've ever watched in my entire life. Uh, it was terrible, right? We didn't. I don't think we left our half really at all, apart yeah. from like a few long balls. But it was crap. Um, yeah, we were just just wank. And then individual errors again. We lost the game because of an individual error, essentially. And then that Eric Dyer acting like yeah, exactly. And then the Everton game. We'll talk about that. I'm sure. But. Yeah. Um. On top, do you think Jose is reverting back? I'll come to finish with this one. Do you think Jose is reverting mm-hmm. back to his? You know, where everyone says, "Oh, um, he's going to get defensive and all that." I was going to come to Sam, but Sam's obviously biased because he had he has had Mourinho as a manager. Yeah. Then we <gasps> talked about Mourinho. We did talk about Mourinho last week, but he's starting to get a bit feisty with the press. My camera's just gone somewhere. Hello, oh. <laughs> my camera Hello. went. I'm back. back. Um. <laughs> Might have switched my camera halfway through. Um, yeah, Mourinho, like he brings up the comments about Deli Alley where he said, um, We haven't had Giovanni, don't have Harry Kane, we haven't had a f- good Deli Alley. He says, Once we yeah. get those, do you think he's found his, his scapegoat? His, uh, his a little bit like things, things with Jose and like the, the football he plays works when you get like, if you get an on, like, on, like obviously Kane and Son at the start of the season were just like on fire. And that made his kind of the tactics work because they took those moments, the one and two moments you get here and there in the game, they made them count. If he has a fit Deli Alley, you've got an, another match winner. And same with, I guess, Lo Celso, uh, you've got a match winner. Whereas with a lot of these injuries, you, you lose your match winners and then Jose's football doesn't work as well. Look at Chelsea and Inter Milan. They had match winners. It helped them out. You, Jose's football doesn't really work unless you've got those like one or two individual talents. Sam? Yeah. What about what about you as a, a Mourinho, you Mourinho fan? I know you Mourinho went... survivor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're with I need you. a badge then. Um, uh... When um when Mourinho signed for Tottenham, I very much remember you saying to Max, "You'll hate this soon," or whatever along those lines. Um, yeah, have fun while it lasts. Have fun but, while but it lasts. I, I don't hate it though. I don't. I don't hate it yet. I don't hate the management. You're getting oh, this yes. close. I'm getting there, <laughs> but I'm not there yet. Okay, you can take a lot of abuse, can't you? Jesus. Well, it's, I'm a top fan. He's a Spurs fan. He's used to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm used to being that close and then falling. With it. Exactly. He's used to being that big. It takes a lot to disappoint me. It takes a lot. That's a fair. Like, you go back two inches. And... I'm going to disappoint you yeah. even more when uh, I tell you that rumours are circulating. That's it. You said it. Uh, oh, you um, said, Bielsa yeah. could be. Uh, that's what Daniel Levy wants. 
And that's why, why would you want him? He's a bit more why wouldn't I want him? Yeah, more but he's fucking shit. He just he gets he gets like. He gets the best out of his team for like bucket. half a season. He does. He does. And he's, <laughs> he's got, got a long some, term. He's got very oh, strong... Spurs can sell Spurs buckets as well. Oh, that yeah. Carabao Levy Cup semi finalist bucket. Like. That'd be pretty oh. sick. Be fair. Yeah, I'd buy it. <laughs> well, you said um, you'd buy every. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, like, the thing is, he's just. Okay. He also just. Like, he gets the best out of his players for like half a season and then they just sort of like hit a wall and then that's it. But like. Would you not okay if I give you the option now of finishing the exact same position under Mourinho or the exact same under Bielsa? Would you not rather Bielsa for the, like the fun, attacking like battering Newcastle like five nil, but then probably losing like four two to City, or, like five two to City? Would no, you I take probably that? wouldn't. I'm being honest. No, I probably wouldn't. I, cause I, I actually wouldn't. quite, I actually quite like Jose Mourinho. I do. I like him. I like one of oh, the he's few a very people that actually person. likes him. He's really I, no. I, 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 I love his Instagram. Bloke. I hate his football. Hate his football. I, I think the bloke is very. Interesting, and, but I, I like him I now. Think, he's not at United. I can, I I can get behind like, him when he's not at my team. He's getting a really unfair. I think. I think he is. He is having problems, right? His management is obviously not perfect, clearly, or like it's outdated or whatever. But he's getting. He's getting a hard rap considering the players have been like really, really. Yeah. Fit. So is that yeah. what you put most of the blame on the players? Yeah, it's like, like was, um, the Everton game, right? The, yeah. the Everton game that we just lost midweek. Um, they were we lost 5-4 so we lost to five individual errors essentially they were all individual errors it was terrible um, but Mourinho sort of it was almost like he sort of went right okay I'm going to put out a decent team here and I'm just going to say I'm just going to let them go attacking and he let us he let them express themselves and then he's gone like okay there you go there's your attacking there's your attacking Tottenham there's your attacking team like, do you want this every week? Because we'll just get back to 5-4 because our defence yeah. is shit. This is what I've been saying the whole time. So he's yeah. sort of proven mm-hmm. a point now because he's like, he's like, there you go. There, that's what happens when we attack. We get beaten 5-4. So remember- Whereas if we defend, we might nick a goal and then we might win it. But the, mm-hmm. our defence is so mind-bogglingly shit. Like, like since we lost Vertonghen, I thought, like, I rated Vertonghen, right? Vertonghen's one of my favourite players. I thought they should have kept him on for a couple more years so he could have got a testimonial. Like, he was, he was like club legend, right? But... They let him go because I think he had like some concussion problem or something that stopped him from playing at the top level or something, something yeah. like that. Um, but they let him go, and ever since then we've just been we've just been shit. And yeah. I, I rated him, but I didn't rate him that much. Yeah, like, I always yeah. thought like Toby out of Viral was sort of like the the leading man, but he's he's not. Like he can't play alongside yeah. Damson Sanchez. It's, it's weird with Spurs. Is it's weird with Spurs because I feel like you've got such you do have a great attacking lineup. With you obviously Sun Kane Bale when he's playing Deli Ali, you've got that creative spot. I think Endon Bele, I think he's really good. He's unbelievable. And he's like, but then, Mr. like Dembele as you really say, as you it. creep behind that, you who do you play in that DM role? Hoiberg, he's done well this. Hoiberg's season. good. But then, then after that, you've got Winks. Um, so fucking so Harry Winks, man. Sissoko, Harry and Winks then you're moving well. further back. Then you have got Doherty, Ben Davis, Dyer. The back four's not great. No, it's not. Is Hugo Lloris hasn't it, been superb no, this season either, is it? But Hugo Lloris has never been. Hugo Lloris has never been superb. Like, he's never been. He's good. Um, though. He's, he's not. Like, he's good. He's, he's not good. But he's not like. He's not the problem. He, he's not. He's not like a. You wouldn't say that he's a World Cup winning goalkeeper. Yeah. Like, really. He's he's no, like he's, he's, a, he's a decent goalkeeper, but he's just. I know what you mean. He's not. He's not like. You know, I know Allison had a bit of a nightmare the other night, but he's not like Allison, and he's not like yeah. he's not quite yeah, like, not like that, Robert um, Sanchez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that I doesn't seem. Like, would you say you really need to strengthen then? Right, like back. If, if you had to narrow right it down, right back, right back. Right back. Right back. Really? Right what about Aurea? I thought you said I think people do, 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 do target the right hand side of Tottenham's defense. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right back and right centre back. Or left yeah, centre back, back would be my centre back. I know. To be fair, but then when everyone's fit. Like Joe Rogan looks like a decent player. That's what so I'm saying. Did, um, like, Tanganga. What's the youth lad? Yeah, Tank. Yeah. yeah, he's good. Is he on top? Uh, was... He was. He's back now. But uh, okay. I was. You uh, can't rely your entire game. team on like a twenty-year-old. Yeah. After I think he's like twenty. Yeah, twenty-one, twenty-two. But after after that, after that Everton game, I was just what, what would even if we just went out against City and just put Tanganga and Rodon at the back, would, could it be it's worse? Just them that? two. Could it be worse? Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd rather 
Right, hypothetical bring... situation, Max. You oh. are Daniel Levy tomorrow morning. You have everything Daniel Levy. You have Danny Rose knocking on your door every day saying... Oh, I got good. the shaven head. You got the shaven head. You yeah. look like Agent nice. 47. You've, nice. got, um, you've got Danny Rose asking you every day if Inter Milan have called back. And they have. Yeah, nice. What do you do to change... What, what would you do to make it... Would you... Obviously, you've said you think Mourinho, but would you... If you were chairman, would you get rid of Mourinho? Or would you sell certain players... Or... So what's the situation? I'm I'm Daniel. I'm, you are I'm Daniel Levy. I'm Daniel Levy. Yeah. Okay. First thing I do, um, get on the phone uh, to Jeff Bezos and say, "Here you go, mate. Do you want to buy <laughs> twenty quid? Yeah, twenty yeah. quid in a box of uh, Space Raiders, and it's all yours. The Amazon Arena. No, um, but no, I'd uh, no, I, I would, but, I would, I'll, actually... I'll give you time to think of a better name. The Amazon Arena. <laughs> no, I, I would be um, Amazon Prime Arena. No, I, I would be always deliver shit. I, I would be looking <laughs> for like to, to actually put some money into it for a start, mm. like some real money. Like I, I know we signed a Dumbledore for like whatever, but you know, buying Doherty for like fifteen mil just seemed like such a. Everyone was like, "Oh, that's such a bit of a steal." Yeah. Wow, but it's not because he's he's crap. You can only play in a five. He can't play a four. And it's why he worked at Wolf so well. Exactly, because of his yeah. attack. He like never really up. had to. Yeah, he never really defended. I don't, I don't recall him yeah, ever he had, defending. He had, uh, one of he had, scorers, did he have Cody on that side on the right centre-back? I think so, yeah. Cody was right centre-back, when he Bish? You'd but, think you'd know uh, if, if I was... If I was Levy and we go back, like, before he sacked Poch, the, the, the reason he sacked Poch was because Pochettino kept bringing up this painful rebuild and all that, right? And he was like... Oh yeah, we're going to need a painful rebuild to do this. We're going to need a painful rebuild to get back to the Champions League to be where Liverpool are. We're going to need to painfully rebuild. Blah blah. And um, you, li- like, you are where Liverpool are now. So it's worth well, yeah, yeah. We're in top, oh we're shit. We're in top <laughs> yeah. But but he kept saying these things, and it got to the point where I think the results started to get affected by the mood and the atmosphere the mentality, and around yeah. the, that mentality. Yeah. And then, um, and then obviously he was gone. And then Levy was like, okay, we don't need a painful rebuild. We don't need that. We'll just sign a serial winning manager, Jose Mourinho. We'll get him in. Fuck the rebuild. Get a fucking Doherty in. Fucking let's go, boys. We'll win the league. Done. And then we were top of the Vinicius. league in December and everyone was like, oh my God, we're going to win the league with Matt Doherty at right back. And then in January, we were just like fucking 18th or whatever. And it's just like all of a sudden, yeah. No, it, we, we, needed, we needed to keep Pochettino and we needed to rebuild. If we sign Bielsa now, it's just like it's gone. It's gone from like part. You're signing Mourinho Pochettino. sideways, and then B else is like down. You're there. signing what? We're signing Southampton Pochettino, Pochettino with... again. Yeah, yeah. It's and obviously, you're speaking... signing Southampton Pochettino at the age of in his seventies. Yeah, he's like ninety five yeah. or something. Yeah, like he also he doesn't do long projects. B else, so. no. Yeah, like he's, he's, I swear he, he signs he, like year he, contracts. Yeah, he he yeah. throws his toys out. The when he doesn't like working. Way. He won't. We we'll leave. He'll be really restrictive on him. He won't like it. Yeah. Um, he doesn't spend money. So if say Mourinho does get binned sure. off, he won't because Levy loves him. But yeah, I know. But hypothetically, say he goes, who do you want as Tottenham manager? And you can't have Graham. Ole and the Solskjaer. Oh, Pochettino. You'd want oh, him back. Yeah, hundred percent. Do you know what I think? I can't work. think of anyone better. No, Nagelsmann. Medley King? Nagelsmann maybe, maybe like Nagelsmann. I thought Mike about Nagelsmann. Mike Bassett. Maybe. I, I was thinking... Leipzig. I don't know if he no, would have been. No. Well, I was on the... I was on the whole Ralph Hasenhut all fucking hype until they got thumped 9-0 again. And then I was like, <laughs> nah, you're right. Imagine Joe's that kind of Tottenham. Imagine that kind of Tottenham. Yeah, I mean, it'd, be, it'd be 18-0. It'd be too late in the Carabao Cup. Can you imagine? We'd get to every single... we get to every single final in existence and lose them all. Yeah. Like that, that's well, we do that anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just like, it's yeah. so uh, the Audi Cup, so the Audi Cup. we did win the Audi Cup. We did. Um, did you release any keyrings for that? Yeah. What? Did you release any keyrings? Did you release any keyrings for the Audi Cup? Well, I don't know, mate. Probably. We <laughs> probably released like a fucking belt or something. <laughs> um, you have City at the weekend. It's a very Tottenham heavy, but we have Max on the show. We meant to have Max on a very long time ago when we were actually filming this in a studio. Yeah. Uh, Timelines, time so. oh, I wasn't going to say. Timelines just didn't didn't match up. But uh, no. <laughs> so you you've got Man City at the weekend. We do. Are you going to beat them? 
You beat Possibly. him once already this season. Possibly. I'm not. I'm not completely. I, 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 it's so. The thing is, you never know with with Tottenham because they're like, we could be absolute shit and then we'll go out and beat someone, and then we okay. could be really, really. We could be like literally amazing, like beating everyone, and then we'll play like we'll we'll play like I don't know. Uh, like Brighton, lose one like Brighton, and well, to be fair, we were shit when we played Brighton. Yeah, but yeah, but it's weird. I don't it know. Be so Jose to beat this. It was, yeah. To so like, and Jose City beats Pep normally, doesn't he? Had one nil where like they have like eight. City have like eighty percent possession, twenty odd shots, and you have like three and score twice. So yeah, it's like, happened twice in like two seasons. Yeah. That exact yeah, thing. So. That's in, they, like. I can see that happen. Then this City team are a bit different. Than the, the ones you yeah. have played. Well, especially at the minute. But the thing is with, fact, don't really with Mourinho as well is I think at the start of the season and it start, started like at Tottenham in general, he's playing a counter-attacking football. He would go attack them and then he'd let the eventual pressure come and then he would counter-attack them. Against Chelsea, he just started the game and went, no, we'll sit back and then we'll try counter-attack. And then Chelsea just never gave him the option, especially playing that uh, Tommy T's three four three, um, and it was, it was they were never going to beat that back line, especially no. with just with no Kane at the time. Even with a fucking painted decorator in midfield, we still couldn't do <laughs> it. Well, that painted decorator is doing quite good these days. Yeah, you could do with them. You could do with them. What's his name? Mason Mount. Uh, yeah. Who? Mason Mount would walk into your midfield. Fuck off! No, he wouldn't. He would. Instead of who? Instead of who? Instead of uh, who? Anybody Instead but Endombele. Yeah. What, you reckon, what you reckon Mason Mason Mount in a holding midfield? You play as a six. He's an intelligent player. Nah. Yeah. I mean you uh, play Harry Winks not, there. He's so. much better than, <laughs> than Harry Winks. He's not. He just plays for <laughs> Chelsea. He just plays for the bad. Harry so Winks say, looks like he starts a start of business every month and it fails and he starts a new one, then he starts a new one, he starts a new one, and he just clogs up your Instagram feed. That, no, Harry, Harry Winks is like a, you, you know, you you got to feel like a quota in the Premier League. You've got to have at least one Love Island model per Premier League club, and Harry Winks is our Love Island model. Brighton. That's literally it. Shall we go through? All right, let's go through. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. That's a good one. Who is? We start with Arsenal. Arsenal. Danny Sebelos. Yeah, Saliba. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Saliba. No, he does love. He does love a good cock. He he fit in well at Tottenham. You got a the, cock. Oh, cock. You got a cock. Yeah, in your bed. I got it. Yeah. He could join yeah. Bielsa's also, cock. Bielsa's cock boys. Bielsa's cock boys. Yeah. <laughs> Bielsa's cock holes. Um, who's next alphabetically? Aston Villa. Right, I suppose. No, Aston Villa. Matty Cash. Matty Cash. Ollie Watkins. Nah, Jack. Oh, Reed, Ollie Watkins. Matty Cash is a better looking Jack. Nah, Fish. Fish. Fish is right. Ollie Watkins is prime Love Island. 100%. Um, Who's after that? Do we need to get the Premier League table up? So we can yeah, yeah. Have to do. Brighton's next. Brighton's next. I've got yeah. it. Oh, Sam's got it. Yeah, right, Aaron Brighton. Conley. Yeah. Aaron Conley's Conley. 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 Yeah. yeah I... Looking like Shirley from EastEnders with his haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he does, doesn't he? It, also as well, though, fair play. It's either him or his girlfriend. Cracking die job at home, though. Unless he's yeah. breaking my arm, which I don't think he is. By the way, Aaron Conley still never replied to my Instagram messages. Livid. I was like, I still, I, we're Brighton. We're writing off Dan Byrne. We're writing off Dan Byrne. <laughs> I, love yeah, I, mean, I think his lanky Byrne. Women like thing is though, man. women on that are so so quick to judge by looks, and he's missing a finger on his hands. So. Is, oh, it, right. is he really? Yeah, a fishing accent. Right. We give, we give, but, we can't give him boys over six foot. Yeah, yeah. You know, Chef's he's kid. way over. So none of us who's, can who's relate. Who's next? Who's next after Brighton? <laughs> Burnley. Burnley, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a hard one. Dwight, that's a Dwight hard McNeil. one. Pro, pro, oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Nick Pope should be it. Nick Pope could be No, be Nick, Pope like Nick Pope looks like he's. Nick Pope looks like they've. on I, like he looks, he looks like he belongs in ITEC. Like his <laughs> face looks like. um. To the sloth? No, the other one. Uh, the fucking squirrel. The mammoth. Oh. No, not the mammoth. Oh. Yeah. What's his name? It's <laughs> like the mammoth. It must be the fur. Scrat, or whatever his name is. Scrat, Scrat that is it. Scrat. Yeah. Yeah. Right, go on, next up, Sam. Uh, Chelsea. Mason Mount. <laughs> yeah, well. No, wait. Uh, what about Timo with his list? Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham. Uh, no, Kevin. Call him by Kevin. Kevin Abraham. Abraham. Oh, yeah, Kevin. Kevin yeah, Abraham. Kevin, Tammy Abraham, 
Big Kev. Uh, next, Crystal Palace. Zaha. I feel like I'm missing one there. There's definitely... Luke Max, is the Max, Meyer, Max Meyer before he got let go. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be Gary Kay. Wayne Hennessy? Wayne Hennessy. I don't Nazi. know if they're Nazis. Nazi, yeah. They um, probably do. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, next one. Who's They've let worse on. <laughs> Everton. Amos yeah, Rodriguez. I was say Amos no, well. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, to be fair, yeah. Tom Davis. Tom Davis, yeah. Oh, Tom Davis. Yeah. With those guards. Okay. He's a bit yeah. of a wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> and and Calvert Lewin as well. Those two are the package deal, I think. Is that well, they'd, do they'd, that hand they'd go in and they'd, <laughs> they'd come out making <laughs> they'd come out as best friends and, and not in a couple relationship. No. Mm. Um right. Next is Fulham. And I I'm oh, Scott Parker. going with the manager here. I, Scott Parker. It's got to be oh, Scott okay. Parker. Sure, Next week yeah. we're gonna go with the best looking yeah. managers in the Premier League. Scott Parker is up there. Yeah. Oh, Scott he has Parker. To be. Me and, Sam, me, and, me, and Sam, me and Sam were in the pub once and we were going through the history of Fuller managers. We were trying to work out if Scott Parker was the best looking Fuller manager of all time. He, well, and it behind, was closest behind Martin Yol. Yeah, I was going to say behind Martin Yol. Yeah. Behind Martin Yol, Scott Parker's a close second. Oh, yeah, very close. Uh, uh, well, I'd like Felix McGaff. You, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, did, yeah. No one beats Felix McGaff. Penfold from Danger Mouse. What a man. He, he looks like oh, no. your mum will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Jack White was dad. Go on, Sam. Next one. Uh, Lee Jim to next. Alioski. Mm. What about Pervade? Oh, Bamford. I can't say Bish. Oh. No, Bish lagging. But who'd you say Bish? Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison. Yeah, the man bun. Oh, that's a good one. Little top knot. Yeah. yeah. they got quite a lot of man buns in that team, haven't they? They've got yeah, Luke man Hayden bun, as well. Man bun, man bun FC. FC. Well, you never know. If you become Bielsa's yeah. cock boys, you could have... Uh, you could oh, have... mate. Harry Kane's going to get a... Gareth Bale would... Man- Gareth Bale would fight <laughs> up Max, your music. He would thrive. No, no. <laughs> no <laughs> Leicester City next. James Madison. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Madison as Jimmy, well. Jimmy Mad. Yeah, I'd agree uh, with that. Liverpool. Oxlade Chamberlain? No, I would we, say Trent. I know he's on loan, but Harvey Elliott. Oh, yeah. 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 Come yeah. on. Uh, Trent, Trent, yeah. Trent, only, Trent only goes really for... Pregnant, pregnant, pregnant women. Yeah, so he yeah. wouldn't he wouldn't be on there. And no. he wouldn't be allowed to get text because uh, Man- you can't save chat. So. <laughs> Man City next. Phil Foden. There's a lot. There. Nah, There's, not a lot. Foden. There's a lot there. Foden's not. There's a lot. He's a good footballer. He's like a twat. Um, Ruben Diaz. Uh, Phil Foden's John married. Stones. He would never. He would never be. No, uh, he never engaged in illicit life. adultery. No. Only with only with Icelandic women. Oh, yeah. you well, that doesn't count. <laughs> Only in Iceland. If you see him in the yeah. Trafford Centre, love Iceland. <laughs> frozen food aisle. <laughs> Kerry Katona. <laughs> Katona yeah. He definitely pays for Kerry Katona's only fans. Oh, probably. Has she got one? That's disgusting. Yeah. If she does. That is <laughs> awful. Oh my god. Okay. Who's only knows because he has a subscription? Um, boys, I know, I know, I know, we're, oh, I know yeah, we're we in go... the middle of recording, but I really need a wee. So can we like? Uh, yeah, we can pause. pause we can pause the recording. We are back from Max's toilet break. Sorry about his incontinence. So, where do we get to, Sam, with our love island? Yeah. It means right. It's where we get. To. Okay. Uh, I think it does. Man United it? next. I'm gonna have certain... oh, lads. We missed one with. Um, no, well, you asked Rachel Riley for. We, we missed one with Brighton, right? Ben White. <laughs> I love an incontinence. Ben White. Ben Sorry. White looks like he's already been on Love Island with the two fucking full sleeves. The sleeves, yeah. And... Yeah, but he's a Whenever good. I think of Ben White. I just think of the GC GC video. <laughs> yeah. when he's chasing down Gemma Collins in the middle of like Ibiza. That's so funny. Got GC. Respect. Oh, it was obviously late in the night. It was. <laughs> All right. So where do we where do we get to, Sam? <laughs> uh, uh, is Man United next? <laughs> oh, Danny Greenwood's got to be. It's got to be Danny Greenwood. Danny Greenwood. No, yeah. not Danny. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. I keep say Danny. No, it's because of, of the meme, you know, where he... Oh, the video of him. Yeah. Him, yeah. With his girlfriend. Yeah. his girlfriend. Um, in the car. I'm going to put one out there. Not a player. Go Mark on. Goldbridge. Ooh. No, I can't. He's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I could but teach him... The problem with that is, though, is every woman's going to want him. Yeah. And it's just going to be unfair for all, the other, all the other lads in there. And, right, you know, who who we say? I'm trying to go through the United. Anthony Martial. Can we do loan players? Can we do loan players? Jesse Lingard. Looks like it'd be on it. 
Well, Lingard might come from West Ham. Yeah. Scott oh, McSauce. Yeah. He looks yeah. like he'd be on it. Yeah. Pogba. We'll go Scott, we'll go Scott Pogba. McSauce. Yeah, probably Pogba. Pogba. Yeah. Okay, we'll go Pogba. Pogba. Go on then. We'll go Pogba. Matic. We'll agree. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Ferguson. Harry Maguire. Mike <laughs> Phelan. <laughs> yeah. Edward <laughs> uh, Newcastle United. Andy Carroll. Ooh. Callum Wilson. <laughs> he used to be a top shagger. Yeah. Um, Callum no. Wilson. Yeah. It was um, St. Maxine. Oh, what about Paul oh, Dunnett when he died? Carl Darlow. Yeah. yeah. Carl Darlow. Carl Darlow's a bit like Geordie Shaw, that. isn't he? He's a bit Geordie Shaw. Well, Dunnett, and the best thing that. about Carl Darlow, he's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you now. Jesus. <laughs> 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 I was sat there for a minute Do I say it? Do I not? He went, I'll say it. He said it and I went, didn't you sign him on your Ipswich <laughs> FM, Sam? Huh? Didn't you get him on no, your no, Ipswich no, FM? No, no, oh, no. I didn't, no. No. You should have. You, you should have now. Oh, who's next? Uh, Sheffield United. Oh. oh, Georgie Bulldog. Got to be Georgie. Oh, yeah, we'll do it. I'll the Greek, the yeah, Greek yeah. god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's Adonis. Greek, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's got, yeah. got Greek wings. Right. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. could play for Greece. I don't think he will, but... No, play for Greece. probably not, but... Who's next? Oh, uh, Southampton. Oh, Theo Walcott. Jay Adams. I was going to oh, say Theo Jay Walcott's Adams, yeah. new hair. Mm. Theo Walcott's new hair definitely puts him in the bracket. Mm. They've got quite a lot of Brexit players, haven't they, Southampton? Like proper rock hard defenders that you just like Yannick Vestager, Ryan Bertrand. Yeah. Ryan Bertrand. He's got, he's got like kind of tattoos. Mm. Yeah. Here, Mike. Who are we thinking? Ex Chelsea lad. Ex Chelsea who's... lad. Bro, so you know he's a bit posh. When you think, when when you think Love Island, Southampton, who are you thinking? Theo Walcott in Gineppo. Skimpy Speedos. Gineppe. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Gineppe is a good one. He'd be one of those rare yeah. blokes, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah. Let's agree with Musa. We'll agree with Musa. Musa Gineppe. He'd yeah. be some firefighter, but like, really fit, and he'd have absolutely no brain cells. Right, next one. <laughs> uh, top name, really but I, I think we said Harry Winks. So. No, it's, it's, it's yeah. between Harry Winks and Deli Alley, isn't it? Yeah, I think Kelly Alley with his goatee. He looks like fucking William Shakespeare. So oh, I think, I think I'd, go, I'd go Harry Winks. William Shakespeare with a good yeah. tan. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that West Brom. Um, Harry Austin with that hair. Sam oh, Johnson. he's not there anymore, is he? Connor yeah. Gallagher. Sam... Connor Gallagher. Yeah, Connor Gallagher. Yeah. He looks like a prime spice boy. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go Connor Gallagher. We're agreeing there. Yeah. We'll get uh, West Ham, him. Declan Rice, Jeffy Lingard. Nah, Declan Rice. Lanzini. Declan oh, Rice looks too we... much like he played too much Modern Warfare too, so I don't think he's got. Um, not really cool. Aaron also, he didn't really look like much for Chad, did he? When when they when he was caught screaming on that boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was his best mate, Pedro Decorator. Lads, I'm not. Yeah, like Mason Mount, mate. Mark Noble goes in the old Love Island Villa. Yeah, he, that'd be he, a watch. Yeah, but you know what? That'd He'd clean up. He'd win it with yeah. all of them. Um, the men, even the, the men, women, the children. Laura Whitmore would jump on it as well. Ian Sterling as well. Sure. Um, right, who are we agreeing for? for West Ham. Um, I'd West go Ham. with I'd go with Max. I'd go with Lanzini. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, Lanzini. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, Lanzini. Is that uh, it? Lanzini finally. The, oh, the the Wolves. Oh, there's so many beautiful Portuguese. <laughs> Pedro <laughs> Neto <laughs> or Ruben oh, yeah. Semedo. Semedo. Dom Traore. Imagine him. He's got the he's got the biceps. Yeah. Connor Cody. Right, oh, you can, right. you can imagine his yeah, cringy yeah. video at the start yeah. where he's flexing. He's got that. Yeah. 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 Try, yeah. Try already. And then it goes to the next one. It's just John Ruddy. He's like, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know we did see a bit like Target. I like big tunnels. I love That'd big tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> just in slow right. motion, pretending he's a tip <laughs> Choo choo. <laughs> All aboard the Target train. <laughs> Um, right, so this this has gone from a serious football chat into us listing every every Premier League's Love Island contestant. That'd be a uh, great Love Island house, to be fair. I so mean, next, oh, Big Brother. Really work, so we're all magic. To see each each uh, show. Um, right, let's move on to football. Uh, so we we talked about Tottenham. I think we've covered enough time talking about uh, Love Island. Stuff. It's making Max sad as well. Yeah. So let's move on to make Max even uh, more upset. Let's move on to the top four talk. We're going to oh. end of this episode. 
we're going to talk about the top four because I feel like we're getting to the stage of the season now. How many games you got left? 15. 15? 14? Is that what it is? So, uh, Sam, do you want to do the honours and bring up the Premier League table? I guess you already have it up. Oh, yes. I thought you had it up. Yeah, most teams have... No, no, I think mix. Villa have got... I've got my phone, but... Yeah. So Villa have got like 17 uh, games left and then some teams got 15, some have got uh, 16. Just so, Villa, that so Villa have a lot of games in hand. A couple of yeah. Yeah. So Sam, do you want to read the table out? Read it from third, I'd say, because I feel like City are pretty safe. There. Read it. United. Read it and understand it. <laughs> so third, Leicester City. How many points? Uh, 43. Okay. Why are you starting at third? Because of United and... Uh, City, United are not guaranteed. Yeah, Leicester, no, Leicester already shit. two points behind. That's what United. I mean. I don't, yeah, United are not guaranteed. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll throw United into that. Would... Anyway, All right, so United, 45. Guaranteed. Leicester, 43. Liverpool, 40. Chelsea, 39. West Ham, 39. Everton, 37. Tottenham, 36. Villa, 35. I'm not going to go any lower than that. And Villa have two games in hand almost. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are Arsenal in that list, Sam? Oh, they weren't there. They were below that. <laughs> I like how uh, your microphone cut it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me laughing. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Fish, I'm going to start with me? you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fish, I'm going to start with you. Who do you think is going to make that top four? Oh, I don't know. Because <laughs> at the minute, I, I mean. You confident Liverpool making it? I am. You sound like, it. That would be it. Yeah, no, but, no, it depends. Because, like, the thing is, Kabak could come in and be very good. Or he could come in and be the reincarnation of, like, Dejan Lovren against Watford last year and just be shit. Mm. So, it, it could go... If Kabak comes in and is very good, and then you play him alongside, like, Nat Phillips or... Well, I would go Nat Phillips or Davis and then get Fabinho back in the field. That all works. I'd say we should probably get top four. However, if this slippery slope continues, it could be bleak viewing. It could be really bleak. So, because, so uh, no who, guarantees. Who who would you? Who is your safe bet for? For, for who? Well, you think City going to win it? Obviously. Yeah. Second, third, and fourth. Who are you saying? Um, I go in my head, not my what I want to happen. Not my penis. Um, so Liverpool second, then uh, Leicester third, and United miss out. Funny enough, <laughs> no. Um, I think United will get second because I just think they're. I don't think they're very consistent. Is this your head or your heart? Enough. This sounds like your heart. No, my head. No, my head. I, don't, I think United will get second. Okay. United. Yeah, that, 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 that's yeah, his, yeah. that is definitely his head, not his heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think United will get second because. I thought you said Liverpool get second. No, I was, that was my joke. It was my funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was my fun. I think, I think United <laughs> will get second. I think Liverpool will get third. Because I, I do think, because like, you can't forget, like, when, when the team's on, like, on fire, it will take teams apart. But, like, it's mm. just whether that can, you know, come back. Um, and I think fourth, I'm going to get Chelsea. Tommy T. Tommy T's 3-4-3. Three, three. I think Leicester won't have enough squad depth again. Like, it would come to back into the season. Vardy's, like, 35 nearly. Like, he gets one injury. They can't score goals. Do you think... Like, um, they can't score more than one, really. They should have fully gone for it in the... Considering how tight the table's been and stuff. Do you reckon they should have yeah, probably gone for it? Well, like, Liv, uh, Leicester have been in the... They've been in the top mix. four for a while. Do you think in January, maybe they should have gone out and tried to fill, fill some of those, uh, those holes? I mean... It's different. The thing is, buying squad players is really hard because you've got Especially to buy January. a player. Well, A, buying him in January, and B, buying a squad a player who's like good enough to be in your first 11, but is like happy to chill and not play when your full team's fit. Mm. Like when they're full, when their first 11 is really good. Like, I rate like, Tielemans is cracking. But when, okay, if he's out for a game, then Tielemans and Didi and Madison are three of the best midfielders in the league. Yeah. But how do you find cover for them? And then them? You, you move so out of that, you got who have you got? Marty, okay. Mendy. It's not the same level. They're not the same level. Yeah. There's a drop off. Yeah. Like That's, you think yeah. Indeedy and the others get in other teams. Oh, whereas like Marty and stuff don't. I'll 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 move to oh, he's back. I'll uh, I'll yeah. I'll move to Max first. So you sound oh, uh, rude and left for a bit magic. 
Uh, Max, who who are you say? Do Tottenham make it or do they miss out? Um, I think Man City win it. I think anyone, everyone thinks Man City's going to win it now. Like, they're just like spanking everyone, aren't they? And they're going to spank us this weekend. And they're going to embrace it. Um, you love from your then, mistakes. Yeah, second, I think... I think United will probably get second. Um, but just because they're in a really good position now, and I, I, I like even though they will they will lose games, they'll they're gonna lose like fucking Newcastle and like they're gonna lose like Burnley, they're gonna lose teams like that, teams like Brighton, but like they're they're still gonna win like the odd game, and they're gonna get draws, they're gonna get like nil nil draws in the big games, which is what Ollie's been doing this season. He's just been getting nil nil draws, to watch. just pulling them out of his ass. Like, as a new, like... Yeah, but um. So they'll, they'll do that, um, and then Liverpool, I think, will get third because I, think, I don't think Liverpool are complete shit. Because the thing is that I think Tottenham, it's a rough patch. Tottenham, yeah, Tottenham are complete shit. Whereas Liverpool are like they're they're, currently they're shit. complete shit at the moment, but yeah. they're they've got good players. Whereas Tottenham are complete shit with two good players. So Fair. it's yeah. So they'll get third, and then fourth. I'm going to go for a bit of a wild one here, boys. A bit of a wild one. I think... United. No, I think... And it pains me. It pains me to say it. But I've got this horrible feeling that Arsenal are going to get fourth. <laughs> and it disturbs me to my really? core. Yeah. Really. Arsenal like are really. back from the dead. It's going to be like WWE. It doesn't happen. It's going to be like I've WWE. Horrible feeling. Horrible Arsenal horrible Wenger feeling. runs into the Emirates last day, cashes in his fourth <laughs> place money in the money bank. In the bank. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, Arsenal so steal it on the last it'll be, day. It'll be the first season in, I think it's six yeah. years that they finish above us. We finish above them every single season. Does Mourinho go if that happens? Well, to be fair, it doesn't really I think I'll like, go if, if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think Arsenal will be a. That would be a. They'd have to go on a fucking run to finish fourth. Like they're not massively horrendously far off. Yeah, but, it's, it's, but it would take a lot of teams to drop. It would take a big. I'm pretty sure yeah, yeah. Like, nine on, nine on the topic of Arsenal as well, like Arteta's had like quite a hard rap being a manager. Like he's I been rate, compared I to know. like, yeah, he's been like, oh, you're a bot, oh, you're a fucking shit, blah, blah, blah. But he's, he's, but when you actually look at that squad, like, that squad is shit. So bad, like, it's yeah. shit. And I think it's actually gotten the, worse. Yeah, and it's like it's dreadful. They can't buy players. They're like not good improved. players anymore. They have They've to got load no pulling power whatsoever. Exactly. Odegaard, man. Who the fuck is Odegaard? Like, he's done nothing. He's he's good. No, Odegaard was he's done more than me. Sasha Dad, wasn't he? You got a Sasha Dad, then like, then Real Madrid wouldn't loan him again, and then they didn't play. Yeah. No. Yeah. To be fair, Zidane does make some questionable decisions sometimes. Yeah, but I think sometimes but then, the Real Madrid's way was. I think sometimes the club makes the decisions on that. Yeah. But yeah, I, think just, Ars- I think Arsenal will get fourth and then Spurs will narrowly miss out and finish eighth by eight points. <laughs> Confident. That's what I think will happen. Now, narrowly but, uh, misses out eight points. Yeah, um, eight points and in eighth. Sam, we're going to come to you for your top four prediction. Do United win the okay. league? Well, I am going with my head like this. And United are going to win the league. They're not going to lose any more games <laughs> in the rest of the season. And City will... You know, they'll just implode. It, it, quite frankly, it's, you, we know it's going to happen. <laughs> no, the city, the city are going to win the league and it, it's written in the stars. They know they are. Everyone else God, knows they <laughs> Tiny temper. Um, <laughs> written in the stars with a blue moon lit. <laughs> sky blue. So <laughs> Max is on fucking moon pit. He's like, oh, I can have a card, please. And I've written in the stars. <laughs> um, yes, no, I said it. with a blue moon in it. Yeah. Like, we we heard you the first time. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> so, Sam, please stop. Yeah. United City second. winning the league. Yeah, United second. I've got, I've, like, I know I'm, I'm not, I said I'll go with my head, not my heart, but I do think that we are best of the rest of the league. Um, so is that I do United think finishing Liverpool... second? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Liverpool, I do think they're going to turn it, like, not turn it around, but they'll get back on track, get back to third, like, get third and get Champions League football. And then fourth. Oh, um, yeah, because... 
Chelsea might get it because they've got Tuchel and he's going to be, you know, the football's not going to be entertaining, but he's going Tommy to win. T. He's pragmatic and just... And Leicester Tommy are there already. Will they be... Able, I, I'm going to go Chelsea as well, the same as Bish. I don't, I don't think We're really Leicester fun, are aren't we? Yeah. We can pick the most oh, boring, really top. boring answers. But <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, it's want. really silly. We could go, yeah, yeah, I'd rather not. Do it. but they're not. Like it's going to be a bore. It's going to be a boring top four where Chelsea or Leicester do get it. Yeah, the really fun title race and... evaporated in about a month. Well, listen here. Yeah, here's mine. <laughs> right, <laughs> top the sea pigeons win the league. <laughs> yeah, top Man City. It's going to happen. Man City going to win the league. It is Second, inevitable. I think Liverpool. I think Liverpool will catch up United. I think Liverpool will finish second. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Uh, I think third will be United. And then fourth, MC Moyes. West Ham are going to oh, do it. Oh, West Ham. Oh, I forgot about West Ham. Jay yeah, Ling. Well. Jay Ling's to lead West Ham. Yeah. The Could you European imagine? glory. Wait. They're gonna win it. Max, have you played well. them at? Wait, have you played them at your stadium yet? Yeah, yeah, they've got three all. I've seen them absolute fucking yeah, rocket. Was that, a, was that a their ground or that was a, no, no, it was no, it was at our ground. That was at the Amazon Man's Arena. <laughs> the, the, Amazon Ar- the Amazon Prime Arena, the <laughs> next day delivery <laughs> arena. Oh, they picked they picked you to fourth, and you just got Jesse Lingard scoring the winner like this at the oh. camera. Yeah, with that, at the next day delivery get... dome. No, yeah, no. Thing is. They can actually do it. You've got to give it to Moyes, they though. I think, I think he's done a, he's done right, a yeah. really good job there. And I think West he, Ham is the team that he needed after United. He's even goals as well. He, 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 he needed, needed that. Like the thing is, I think he needed that. There was a lot of crap at West Ham. Like, yeah. Lanzini, like, Lanzini was getting in that team. And he's, Lanzini's shit. And he was getting in that team because they had no one else to play time. there. Good yeah. Love Island contestant, though, Bruce. Yeah. He might win that, but he's not going to win any fucking Player of the Year awards at West Ham, True. but they brought in Bowen, who's been brilliant. Right, yeah. Suchek's been brilliant, uh, and the, the thing is, though, Suchek's like the Suchek, best player in the league. Suchek has played so no, well. Though, I think uh, Sufal gets overlooked. The right back, the right back, he's insane as well, isn't he? Yeah. Really good, yeah. Even then, he like and, Sufal's boyfriend or something as well. Suchek. <laughs> <laughs> but they, that's the problem. He knows the same. I, uh, I think as well, like the depth they got, they brought Ryan Fredericks in as well. And he, him and Sue Fowler, just two right ages. No, he came, from, ages. he came from Fulham last season, I think. Um, was it last season? I thought he'd been there years. No, Mate, I he, was, he, was he was at Fulham. He was at Fulham. He was at Fulham. Yeah. I think he's just uh, one of those players that you think has yeah. been there for ages. Been there for it turns ages, out yeah. they have not. Oh, Cresswell played shit. well this season. Um, and then just all the way up the pit, and then Antonio's been Dawson as well. Dawson at centre back is yeah. Big Dawson, yeah, monster. Yeah, he's been unbelievable. So, and Obonna. Obonna's looking like some sort of, like... He's just looking like <laughs> Maldini. They look you're, slightly you're different. I know what you mean. Yeah, but I can't say it, can I? <laughs> they, um, so, I think, on based on averages there, the on-the-counter top four prediction is... Man City to win the league. Man City to win the league, United <laughs> second, Liverpool third, and Chelsea fourth, I'm guessing. Based on averages. Well, that was the average. Well, yeah. That was, yeah. yeah, because me and Bish. We'll come back to the end of the season and we'll laugh and West Ham have won it all. So, uh, I think we oh, can leave the funny. episode there, boys. I think that's been quite a good episode. Uh, I'm yeah. sure everyone will love yes. our talk about uh, who we the think is going to be the next Love Island contestant. Uh, if you did enjoy that chat and you want us to do more lists of uh, some TV shows, I'm sure we'll then find something. Tell to us do. personally. We'll send Sam to do it. Sam can set us up next week with a with a little list. Um, my, Max, my little segment. Your little <laughs> Sam segment. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going into artifacts. I'm not making you think. Uh, Max, thank you You're very much for joining me. us. I hope you enjoyed thank your you first time me. on on the counter. I, even though we're I just did. chatting about how shit Tottenham are. Yeah, that's right. Then I'll, I'll be back when we're in the Champions League in eight years. Yeah, I, I would say I was going to say yeah, I'm sure you'll be back on <laughs> some point uh, when we. We'll wait till you win the years. Carabao Cup. Yeah. yeah, fuck off, bitch. Well, to be fair, right. oh, I'll, make <laughs> I want to make nice. it. I want to make it clear that uh, Max told us earlier, uh, Tottenham are selling some really bad uh, merch. Uh, Carabao Cup rather, finalists. Rather Carabao Cup finalists merch. There, there's a flag, there's a pen, and there is a kiwi. Max has said if Tottenham win it, he will buy all that merch. There's also a mug. 
Oh, there's a mug as well. Yeah. Um, You're going to buy one of those plushies as well. Yeah, and you got to buy Joe oh, yeah. up. I'll you got to buy Joe what, up. If, if, if we win, if we win the Carlo Cup, I pledge here now on On The Counter YouTube channel, I will buy every single piece of Carabao Cup finalist merch there is available on that website. Your respect. Um, I, can't wait. I mean, I'm hoping for it. A Tottenham win now, and you have to come on wearing. It I'll be on the on the counter. I'll, be, I'll I'll wear full clover as well. I'll wear I'll Aww. wear Carol. I'll get a shirt that says Carabao Champions Eleven on the back. Why well. <laughs> <My> eleven? <laughs> no. Maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 be Carabao, <laughs> maybe Carabao Champions. What what year did we win it with Jonathan Woodgate? Was that two thousand eight? Oh eight. Yeah, yeah. two thousand eight. Yeah. yeah, I'll get I'll get Woodgate oh eight on the back. <laughs> Yeah. Um will be anyway. Well, thank you very much, Max. You never know, you might be on next week. We haven't decided what's happening next week. I might be. I might we be. do we have got a guest yet, so. No, we do have uh Champions League and Europa League football next week, so I'm sure we will talk about that. Do we? We'll have Sam's segment probably. Yes, yeah, next madness. week. I thought it's not oh, okay. I thought it was for a while. It normally, no, it's normally like fantastic because they're all messing it up, aren't they? Like um, Liverpool are playing Budapest or whatever. If it's not, oh, yeah, right, that's yeah. my fault, and we'll talk about something else. Uh, but thank you very much, Max, again. Thank you, Fish and Sam, for joining us, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>